guys, Greg C96 here, coming at you with the hashtag June underscore, hashtag MHC underscore June underscore 2017 player update video for episodes four, five, and six. Um, so, no particular order here. I will be going through just the order that I watched them in. So, uh, first up, we got Honeysuckle, episode four, planted an underground tree, uh, bravely set off into the mines, found some mine chests, found some gold as well. As of the end of the episode, her tree had not yet grown. Uh, episode five, more caving exploration. She, uh, had a run-in with a cave spider, came a part of the Half a Heart Warrior Club, and the tree has still not grown. And episode six was entirely a resource grab, um, but she was able to convince two skeletons to fight one another as opposed to fighting her, so good on her there. Next up, we got Icy Bubba on episode four. Catchy tunes as it was a silent episode, much like his episode three. I was exploring a mine shaft, found a spider spawner, and I think it was a regular one, not a cave spider. Um, as of right now, he is on vacation, so he will be finishing the June challenge, probably early July, he said. So episode four is the last one he posted. Next up, we got John Fall 92 um, By watching his video, I actually learned that in 112 they added fossils. I did not know that. Now I do. So thanks for that, John. Um, he decided not to venture into a skeleton pit at the start of the episode. Probably smart. He seems to have a pretty adventurous uh, plan for his rails, based on what he was saying in the episode, and he started laying rail. Uh, episode 5, he found diamonds, he adventured some more, found a mine shaft. Episode 6 did his, what he called, final mining. Final mining. Uh, I collected some resources, but reason realistically, it was pretty uneventful. Next up, we got Mac G Mania. Uh, episode 4, did some branch mining, found gold, found diamonds, and made a bunch of rails. Episode 5, he got a whole bunch of sand, and he was real jumpy and jittery through the episode, and continued on his branch mine, and then episode 6, he started uh, actually laying the rails down, he found more gold, and to quote him, he's got the skills to pay the bills. Next up, we got the Wandering Nerd, and his episode 4 seems to not exist because of some audio problems, uh, but episode 5, he gathered a whole bunch of iron. And episode 6, he built a bridge with acacia wood and orange concrete, which actually looked really a lot cooler than I thought it would. Because it, it ended up being like, the concrete powder is actually not even close to the orange color that it creates. So the orange concrete looked really good, especially with the acacia wood. Um, he started laying rail. Next up, we got DeSander111, who on episode 4 gathered wood, continued and finished his little mini acacia roller coaster. And I did not see an episode 5 or 6 from him. Next up, we got Baker Bell, Baker Bell Games. Uh, episode 4, did a whole lot of mining, found a bunch of gold and iron. Episode 5, she started the episode by dumping her hoe in the ocean. Not very nice. Uh, found a village and a temple. And, or, uh, are they called pyramids? A desert temple? I don't remember what they're called. And she explored quite a bit, trying to find a place for her train. Um, episode 6, she found another temp uh, temple, pyramid, whatever. And then another one. And then another one. Like, holy crap. She found, three, she found four temples in two episodes. Like, I think that beats Granny's got... I didn't look back into it. It was April's challenge. I think it was Granny's Got Game... Because there's two Triple Gs. There's Grandma's Gone Gaming and Granny's Got Game. I think it was... I think it was Grandma's Gone Gaming in April's Challenge that found a whole bunch of jungle temples. Um, next up, we've got Block Samurai. Uh, went lumberjacking and caving in Episode 4. Decided it was a proper choice to run head-on into an exploding creeper. She did survive, though, so that's that's a plus. Uh, episode 5 found a spawner, and I did not mention what type of a spawner it was. Um, so good on me for taking proper notes. And went caving. Episode 6, she found a zombie spawner. And as soon as she found it, a whole bunch of zombies spawned in. And a baby, zomber, baby zombie took her out. Next up, we got Tim, a.k.a. Captain Hook 5150. Episode 4, he was laying rail, talking about how his week was pretty bad. He had his central air in his house broke. 
he slipped and fell in the shower and broke his tub, so he needs to buy a new tub now. And it was just overall a bad week um, for him, but whatever. He got the episode out, end of the week, on a high note. Uh, episode 5 did a bunch of mining, laying more rail, more mining, and talking about how his brain is a slushy and things just don't get remembered as much anymore. And episode 6, laying more rail, went through a sacred temple with his railway. He broke right through the wall, laid that track down. But it's okay, because an Enderman Templar made him pay for it. And he died to an Enderman at the end of the episode. Uh, next up, we got our old buddy, Dadcraft73. Um, episode 4, he's doing something a wee bit different for his rail. Um, he's doing Jumbo Size. Uh, also... He went mining in the episode, and finally, happy anniversary, even though this is coming about two weeks after the episode posted, but oh well, crap happens. Next up is episode five, um, did a bunch more mining and told a pretty cool, funny story about his dog and how it loves bacon. Uh, episode six did some more mining. He started building the train and recalled a story about how he chose not to go to work to become a, uh, conductor many moons ago. Uh, next up, we have a Dark Age man who, within, like, a minute of the start of the episode, a cave spider snuck up on him. Not cool, cave spider. That's a dirty trick. A little blow. Um, next up, we got DJ Paul. Uh, episode 4, he started in a ravine, fought off some creepers, and I don't know if it was like that weird time warp glitch that Tim had back in April, but he ended his episode after 20 minutes on daylight. I don't know if he started the episode early, ended one early, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Um, episode 5, he pretty much spent the whole thing laying rail tracks. Episode 6, he tested his rail, couldn't quite get to the top of the ravine, so he fixed it and then it verked. Uh, found some diamonds, found a spawner, and did a bunch more work on his rails as a whole. Uh, next up, we got Gadawan LP. He did some more caving, found a mine shaft, and got prepared to start his railway. Episode 5, he finished mining and dug a trench for his railway. Then episode 6, he was making a pretty interesting zombie trap, like a pit with cactus at the bottom, a uh, villager up in the middle of it. And, like, rails going around it is the plan, and then, like, pistons on one edge to put It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. I haven't done, like, mob traps, mob farms, anything like that in a long time, so I'm not exactly sure how it works. I know the cactus will break items, so I just think it's the type of thing. He's not trying to collect anything. He's just trying to kill them easily and not deal with them. And last but not least, we have TSG Gaming. Episode 4, he did some caving. He laid some rail. He went into a ravine. He was exploring it. I uh, saw a couple of zombies on different levels of the ravine that couldn't quite get to him. He was building a bridge around the ravine for exploration purposes. And he had some trouble with a waterfall. And he got pushed out of the waterfall and fell to his death. So, feels bad, man. So, if I missed anyone, please let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure I got everyone. That was the episode 4, 5, and 6 wrap-up. Um, yeah, so expect it's Saturday today when this is going up, so on maybe even tomorrow, Sunday, you should see this episode 7 wrap up, probably Tuesday, uh, depending, uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday will be the episode 8, and then probably the following Saturday, so a week from today should be the episode 9 update. Thanks for watching, guys. You know the drill. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Comment down below. Uh, in this case, if I missed anyone, head on over to gregc96.com. Check out that stuff. Head on over to bigboxofgamers.com. Check out all the things and the stuffs. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you liked it, why not check out one of these two previous videos? Or if you're in the mood to watch more later but not now, that's cool too. You can check out more by subscribing to myself or to the big box of gamers. Just be sure to hit that little bell icon after you've done it so YouTube will notify you when we post a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.